All right, so this one is uh, something we just wrapped up. It's a two-zone uh, heat-only system. So basically, this is not a combi um, that provides domestic hot water like a lot of the systems I usually build. Uh, this customer has a separate hot water source, so um, the boiler will only provide heat uh, to two zones. So this is actually for a uh, baseboard system. Uh, I'll walk through a little bit. This is an NHB model from Navian. Um, this requires basically you adding an external uh, pump for the boiler only on the combis that's already built in um, so for this you can actually still uh, use this manifold that's provided for the NHBs to heat an indirect water tank so if you still wanted domestic hot water from it but not necessarily like a uh, endless hot water or tank list you could use a indirect water tank and that's actually on the manifold what these are for right here so if you wanted to utilize um, these, you would basically cut these off, add an additional pump uh, that would be specifically for heating just the indirect tank. And what that does is bypass the primary and secondary piping configuration. So that would work basically on a priority where uh, if there is a call for hot water, um, basically it would bypass any heating. The heating would shut off. It would pull you know, right from here from the pump, heat the hot water tank. The return is here. Uh, again, bypassing all of this, then when that's satisfied, if there's a call for heat that would kick back on and uh, basically use turn this pump back on, which would uh, run water through the primary loop. And the secondaries would pull from that primary loop just as uh, usual, like I've talked in other videos. So uh, the other thing with the NHBs is they can only handle up to one zone as opposed to the combis that can handle up to three. So you're pretty much forced to add a external uh, zone controller, which I've done here. So basically what this does is your thermostats now, instead of being wired into the boiler, they're actually wired into the controller. So when the thermostat uh, triggers a, a call for heat, the zone controller will turn on which specific pump, uh, whether it's zone one or zone two. That's why you see these wires now um, going from the pump into the controller as opposed to on the combis, these would be wired into the boiler. Um, at the same time, when there's a call for heat, this wire right here, which goes into the controller, that tells the boiler to turn on when either of these zones turn on. Uh, so that would fire the boiler, and then you'll see this pump here, which basically once the boiler is notified that there's a call for heat and fires the uh, heat exchanger, then it basically will turn on the boiler's pump, which circulates the primary loop. Um, so that's sort of a little um, overview of this system. We've also included a NaviClean on here, which is a magnetic um, filter, which will you know collect any metal contaminants to keep everything nice and clean, keep the heat exchanger from, from getting damaged or anything inside the boiler. And also, these things are extremely good to use when you're using ECM pumps because these are magnetic motors and they also you know, them being magnetic can also collect particles in it, which can make your pumps go bad over time. So um, it's kind of a no brainer when you're doing these systems to, to add one of these. Uh, if you guys got any questions at all, you know, uh, my contact info is on my channel as well as uh, in the description. So if you'd like me to build your system or consult you on building your own system, uh, just get a hold of me and check out our other videos, tons of other videos uh, on my channel going over many different systems, combi systems, uh, a lot of walkthroughs. Uh, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next one.